All right, we are holed up deep in the back of the Namco booth here with uh, with Jornis from Bugbear, uh, who just showed us Ridge Racer Unbounded. Uh, this is perhaps, I mean, even even seeing the trailers and stuff and, and realizing that it's it's meant to be a different kind of driving game, I don't know that I was quite prepared uh, for, for what you showed. I, like, you're just driving these cars through huge cement pillars and just blasting them apart and yeah. statues and all this stuff. It's uh, it's really a lot of destruction. Is it, is it hard to kind of model that stuff and keep the frame rate going and, and all that? Oh, it's super hard. Like uh, all the destruction is, is technically very, very hard to do, but also in the sense of level design. Like we are giving so many options for the player that where, where can you drive, like how many different routes you could take, what sorts of objects could you take out and so forth. And it's, it's really complicated to make these levels. But um, I, I think that because we have spent so much effort on that, uh, we've really created something that nobody else can deliver. Now, you're not just quite driving through buildings automatically every single time. Uh, can you talk about the, the meter and the destruction meter and, and how that fills up and when, when you deploy it? Sure. So by driving well, or basically in a very cool fashion, so you're drifting, you're airborne, you're chasing the other guys, that uh, gives you the uh, destruction power. And once your meter is full, you can unleash it by hitting the A button. And that, that will basically punch your car forward. And so basically it makes you invincible for a while and it gives you a speed boost. So you can take out the other cars with like a single hit, or you can drive through solid obstacles which you could not uh, drive through normally. Now I, I have spent, you know, I guess d over a decade at this point playing Ridge Racer games. You know, I, I finally got good at, you know, the the way that the cars drift in Ridge Racer, probably around Ridge Racer Type Four, and and from there did pretty well. This appears to be completely its own thing. Is is there anything from the the kind of classic Ridge Racer games that you're looking to keep, like the the feel of the drifting or the the musical style? Or is, is there something from those games that you want to make sure that it is represented here? Oh yeah, well we basically taken a hard look at the, at the whole 18 years of Ridge Racer history and figured out which parts we could redo. Like we haven't really br brought anything over wholesale because it, it just wouldn't be us and it, it wouldn't be uh, right for this game. But we have tried to uh, key, uh, bring along as much as we possibly can. So you do have drifting, it's a very core part of the game, but it works differently from the Ridge Race, as you know. Yeah. So, so you have to get used to the new, more physical handling model. Like the so you're, not, you're not snapping onto a rail and spinning no, 360s we, no. or anything like that? This no, is like real no, no. drifting? Yeah, yeah okay. but precisely, because it's, it's uh, all, all physically modeled, so we, you have to do it more or less in line with reality. Cool. Now, uh, at the end of the teaser here, which, you know, unfortunately, we get, is, showed a little bit of what appeared to be a tile-based level creator. Well, wait, let's, let's, let's get it. Will there be user-generated content in Ridge Racer Unbounded? How about we start with something simple like that? Well, we haven't announced anything yet, but it, it certainly does look like that, doesn't it? Yeah. All right, that's, well, I, I guess we'll probably have to leave it at that then. Uh, when are you looking to put this out, and uh, is it hitting all console platforms, a PC release in the works? Or? Yeah, it's coming out next year. We don't have it, anything more concrete than that yet. That it, it, it is coming out for 360, the PS3, and also as a series first for the PC, which I'm very happy because our existing fans would, would not forgive us for not releasing a PC game. Right. Uh, uh, thanks for your time. I enjoy Ridge Racer and Flat Out. It's crazy to see them coming together in some weird way. So uh, good yeah, luck. Exciting. Yeah. yeah. Thank cool. you. Thanks.